Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. We've got something a little bit different for you today. It's not 40K, uh, it's a great game called Scythe. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this game, it's a really cool board game, strategy game that involves five factions and uh, a great game for you to play with your friends. You get some really cool miniatures, as you can see in front of you. Um, you get each faction out of the five, gets an archetype with a furry friend or feathered friend as a, as a character piece. And then you've got obviously your military assets, which are the extra icons or um, miniatures that do come with the game. So really, really nice selection of models. Uh, Ben's done an incredible job. They, they are super, super tiny in size, which you'll see as I start showing them in, in the video. Um, but I do hope you're going to like this. And if you haven't checked Scythe out, you should definitely check it out because they are really, really cool models. And the game is really good as well. So let's jump in. I'm going to start with my favorite, which is obviously the red rimmed uh, faction. And they have a giant tiger. So you can't really go wrong. Um, just a brilliant, brilliant set of models right from the get go. And you can see just the size compared to my hands and thumbs and fingers, the size of these miniatures uh, ben has done an incredible job painting these um the tiger obviously with all its markings on it as you can see there you've got this really cool just kind of steampunk-esque vibe to the game as well which is really really cool uh, again you can see the super super cool tiger that uh, this uh, character archetype actually has uh, I almost thought it was a saddle it's not it's just kind of like a message pack or something which is quite cool uh, but who wouldn't want their mail delivered by a giant friendly tiger uh, so yeah just a really really cool game piece and again you can see the size of the actual character uh, so it's super 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 tiny compared to my finger and thumb as you can see here and just uh, Ben's done a phenomenal job on picking out the eyes and details and the little bits on the miniature which is just absolutely awesome uh, so to go with the uh, the awesome tiger we've got these really cool almost robotic uh, units which are just brilliant uh, really really cool loads of guns and things on them as you'd expect with any sort of steampunk-esque kind of military thing uh, which is cool but Ben's done these in a really really cool desaturated green with a nice red stripe on them as well just a really great model uh, and I'll just show you another one from each uh, uh, faction just so you can see the consistency of the painting from miniature to miniature i love the subtle transition down that armored front of the model as well it's slightly brighter at the top slightly darker at the bottom uh, which is really cool so that's just this awesome awesome uh, faction we next jump on to the next one and uh, what i'll do is i'll start with the sort of character or archetype for each one we've got this uh, almost like general here here which is really cool it's got a giant wolf as his companion and uh, again you can see that ben's done a great job of painting all the little details on this absolutely tiny tiny game piece uh, uh, but again, really, really done well. So that's just uh, that character archetype. Plus the accompanying units. We've got these almost like spider-esque steampunk tank things, which are just really, really cool. Uh, again, just an awesome set of miniatures, really weathered and uh, show their age, which is quite cool. So that's just these. Um, pull forward another one so you can have a look at this guy as well, just so you can see the consistency from model to model. So again, really, really cool. Uh, great set of models uh, and gaming pieces. Uh, we'll next jump across to the white faction or white rimmed faction. Uh, again, the clients requested each of the rims be denoted in a certain color just to obviously make them easily visible on the gaming table. Uh, again, you can see this uh, awesome sniper lady here with a giant bear as her friend. Uh, again, just cover it, carrying all the mail and letters and things. If you're going to try and steal information, you probably wouldn't want to approach this uh, this giant bear. Uh, but again, really, really cool uh, sort of character archetype and sort of faction lead model, which is great. Again, we've got this really cool basing that's across all of the models. We've got these tufts and sort of extra details and things that are just on there. So that's just this awesome sort of awesome miniature uh, then we've got um, the uh, sort of uh, military assets or units which again these walkers which are really cool kind of reminds me a little bit of mech warrior this one um, but just really really cool for any of you that remember that game mech warrior uh, just really really cool model again very steampunk-esque which is just awesome uh, so that's uh, the first one well next we'll pull another one forward just so you can see the consistency of models to models again you can see the sort of damn it, the uh, sort of soot effect there on the end of the barrels of those weapons uh, just to show you've been firing loads um, we next have uh, a lady here with a giant eagle or falcon which is just awesome uh, she's got a very sort of uh, f feathered friend here just to scout ahead of the main force or something which is quite cool she has a rifle uh, and then also has uh, a bow and arrow so she can uh, she can do it old school or, or new school with the rifle whichever way you prefer to slay your foes um, but yeah really nice uh, purpley sort of pink uh, sort of uh, dress that she's wearing and just really really cool uh, 
uh, colorway. Uh, like the fact that it's a bit desaturated and it's uh, with the tufts and things on the base that gr the desaturated greens on the on the base just complement really nicely to the uh, to the purple of the of the sort of dress that she's got. Uh, but again, all the little details: the knife, the belt, the, the skin, and everything, all fully painted and highlighted through various stages. Again, just a really really nice set of, of, of uh, character archetypes in this game, and that's a good example of it. Um, we've got these uh, really cool. Uh, it's military units for the yellow faction, or, uh, which is this kind of walk up cross, I don't know, penny farthing kind of thing, uh, which <laughs> it just shows off that steampunk esque kind of vibe. I like the use of the yellow as well, just on that beading around the uh, midsection of the turret, uh, just to show that sort of uh, allegiance to the yellow faction, which is quite cool. Again, try to differentiate these uh, as per our client request, just so that they are easily recognizable on the tabletop. Obviously, when these are all uh, on the board game, it can get a little bit confusing. So, uh, so obviously, doing that on the rims just really, really helps out. And that splash of color on the unit as well just really works. Uh, uh, so that's this awesome, awesome uh, military unit. We'll pull forward another one just so you can see the consistency from model to model. Uh, and again, just this, re it's really, really strange. I wonder how it actually moves. Like the legs must pull it forward, I imagine, or something like that. I don't know. But um, but yeah, so just uh, an awesome set of little accompanying models to that character archetype. Then we have the main man here on this. I, I don't know whether this is like a buffalo or if it's a giant moose or something like that. I, I don't know. Like it looks like a buffalo, I think. But um, we've got this general here. Uh, in, on this buffalo again using that blue from the faction color on his uh, sort of cloth uh, like overcoat um, again you can see they've got this thing about carrying mail or letters on the giant animals that they've got or something but uh, but yeah really really cool obviously with a rifle in hand looks very at ease uh, it doesn't look too fast about riding a giant giant walk buffalo and uh, and yeah it just looks pretty cool to be honest uh, again I love the sort of rug here on the back you've obviously got this really nice free handed kind of like weave or pattern on there as well which is really cool and uh, Ben's done a great job of highlighting all the hair on this model as well which is just great you can see all those individual strands of hair all ind independently highlighted as well which is really cool I do really love the medical safety first you've got the little Medicaid bag there as well on the side um Incidentally, he's the only faction leader to have a Medicaid bag, so maybe he cares a bit more about safety. Uh, but yeah, just really, really, really cool uh, general there, just on that big buffalo. And then we have his military assets, which are these really cool uh, like artillery platforms that are on boats with legs. Uh, so it looks like a boat with guns and a turret, and then it's it walks. So it's a really, really cool military asset uh, and unit marker. Um, it's a tough one behind uh, between this guy and also the uh, the giant uh, sort of walking sort of bin things that these things with claws and guns. Uh, but I I'm probably going to go for the, the the walking boat with turret. I think it's a, a much stronger uh, military asset in my opinion. Um, but again, a really really cool uh, game scythe. Um, all the sort of little jokes and things. They are phenomenal miniatures. Uh, really cool game. If you're not familiar with scythe, you should definitely definitely check it out. Um, and uh, the, the models themselves are actually awesome. So yeah. So do hope you like this ever so much this is going to be wrapped up and sent off to our clients um so thank you so much for watching the video guys i do hope that you like it ever so much nice interesting video of something different from the normal here on the channel so thank you very much for watching this video to the end i'll see you very soon on the next one take care of yourselves and stay safe So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.